Okay, so in section 7.9, we looked at gravitational potential energy associated with the force of gravity near Earth's surface. And we got this mgx, right? So this was the potential energy uh, associated with, with the force of gravity near Earth's surface. Now what we want to do is we want to obtain a general expression for gravitational potential energy between any two objects. Okay? So our first approach is going to be we're going to look at wor the work done. Okay? And then the second one we will look at gravitational potential energy. Okay, so if we consider two objects of mass 1 and mass 2, and mass 1 is much, much greater than mass 2, so what would happen is mass 2 would then be accelerated towards mass 1. Okay, and mass, mass 1 is held fixed at the origin. So it is being accelerated due to this gravitational force between them. Okay? Now the question is, what is the work done? This is what I just mentioned. We're going to look at it in terms of work. What is the work done by the gravitational force exerted by object 1 on object 2? Well, we know that, that this is the force. Okay? And if we choose right as positive, then the gravitational force of 1 on 2 is negative g m1 m2 over x squared okay so it's negative because the force is is being applied in that direction okay okay so the force of one on two is in the negative direction okay it's pulling it okay now if we want to compute the work done then we need to use an integral of fx dx. Remember the basic idea of work is that it's a the force times a displacement. Okay. But if there is some something in that force equation which is varying, it's changing its value, it, there's a there's a change, then we need to compute the integral. And what is changing is the distance. Okay, so as this is moving closer, that distance between the two objects is changing. So this x value is changing. But the g and the two masses are fixed, so we can remove them out of the equation. And we say, well, what is the force? This force is this guy here, the negative. Okay, so we pull that out of the, out of the integral, rather. And we compute the integral of 1 over x squared. And if you do this whole integral, you'll see we end up with this. G m1 m2 times this, this quantity in brackets, which is 1 over the final position. The final position minus 1 over the initial position. Okay? Okay. Uh, so the work here, this is, the, this is an important thing, the work must be positive, just intuitively, why? Because the force is in that direction and the displacement is in that direction. So those two vectors are in the same direction. But even if you go and put, put in the values, 1 over x final minus 1 over x initial, you'll see that this is a positive value because x final is smaller than x initial. So this value is positive, multiplied by positive, gives us positive work. So the work done by that up, uh, M1 on M2 is positive work. Okay, and let's see. Also, uh, the work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Because there's no other energy associated with its change. So as it moves from x initial to x final, there is this acceleration, right? Change in velocity, so it's a change in kinetic energy. And this is the, in this case, this is the only uh, uh, energy associated with, with 
uh, it's changing. The, it's the only energy that's changing is the kinetic energy. So work equals kinetic energy. So just finally, this is the energy diagram. Remember, we are just considering this particle M2 or this object M2 in our, as our system or within our system. And this the force from M1 is external. It's external. So work is done by this force and it moves it. So we have this change in kinetic energy and work done by this external force. Okay. In the next, uh, in the next video, we will look at gravitational potential energy. Why or how? By including both objects in our system. Remember, guys, when we have, when we have a force that's external, then we have work done. But if that, if we include, if you remember, if we had, say, the Earth, and we had an object, and we just considered that object on its own, then the force, uh, the gravitational force by Earth would be something external, and it would be work done. But if we included both the Earth and the object, then we're not talking about work, but we're talking about the change in potential energy. We will see that in the next video.